Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. And today we got a little one that's a little bit different for you. We are going to try to troubleshoot and fix a problem with my Synology NAS. So if we look right up here in my networking cabinet, my messy networking cabinet, right up here next to my cable modem is a Synology D918 Plus, DS918 DS918 Plus. I'll get that right in a minute. So it's, what, four years? Four years old now? So about six months ago, I had an NVMe drive in a computer that I wasn't using anymore. One of these right here. You know, put my hand in front of it there. One of them. It's a 256 gig. Uh, NVMe drive and it's $30 it's $30 drive it's not one of these big high-end expensive enterprise things so I read where you can set up SSD caching on the NAS and SSD caching enhances performance where input output operations require frequent access to randomly placed data it can there, thereby benefit pre-denominantly reread workload patterns such as mail servers and file services. Well, I copy a lot of big files when I'm doing video editing, uh, doing backups, you know, whatever. I'm copying a lot of big files and everything and doing some streaming stuff, which it says it does not all that great for streaming, but I did notice a difference in it. So this NAS has two drive bays on the top. I think they're on the top. We're gonna look here in just a minute because I have a problem with it. So I bought another drive just like it and put them in, set it all up, and I'll show you on the computer here in just a minute what it looks like. So I've got two 256 gig SSDs sitting there caching and it's doing the big heavy lifting for the hard drives and for the file transfers. So I, it started beeping the other day on me and I found out one of the SSDs had crashed. So I went through and tried to figure out and troubleshoot and everything and it's just got to be replaced. So we're going to do that right now. So we're going to go down to the computer and show you exactly what I'm looking at. And this is the first time I've ever done this, so I may screw up. That's why I've got a backup of all my files and everything on another one big hard drive. So, But anyway, let's go down to the computer and I'll show you what we got. I'm going to open up the browser. We're going to go to my NAS. All right, so we're signed in. So here I'm, I've come down to the SSD cache and it's showing degraded. And uh, so what, I can either remove the whole thing or I can fix it. So it's still got that one SSD just sitting there hammering away at it. So if I go to my SSDs here, you'll see that number one is crashed. crashed. And uh, if I hover over this, it says, this drive has been removed from the storage pool by the system. Please replace the drive. Come on. And go to storage pool and select the storage pool requires repairing. Click action and repair. So my, my second disk is just fine. It's in there at 100 degrees and just happy as a clam. So, we will go up here and shut this thing down. And it, it takes a couple of minutes for it to shut down. And uh, well, I thank you for telling me that. We'll take it down, pop it out, replace the drive, start it back up and do the repair on it. All right, so here's the four bay NAS right here. And the drives are on the bottom, I was incorrect. Take wipe it off a little bit. So I got my new drive right over here. I'm 
It doesn't tell me which one is drive one. Oh Lord, no, there it is. It's right here. I'll take a picture of that and show you. Whew. Boy, that was a close one. <laughs> take a picture of that. So we're gonna take number one out. That's all there is to it, it's just a little dim. I'm gonna take the new drive. It goes in like that, but we're gonna put the little heat sink on it. It's got 3M tape. Just like that. There's one little key down in there you gotta hit. And that's all there's to it. Here's the little key that I'm talking about. There's one little key that goes in that and then you snap it in right there. I've had this drive a really long time and that's why I replaced it with the other one because it's been a good drive. I don't want to have them. All right, we'll snap the little doors back on. We'll plug it back up and see what happens. All right, so we're going to go back to the storage manager. And as you can see here, it says unknown. So what we need to do now is repair. That's, that's what the instructions said anyway. So we're going to try it here. We're going to select that and hit apply. Okay, these drives are not in the Synology compatibility list. The ones that are in that list are expensive. So, I understand that all data were removed from SSDs, which are used to repair the SSD cache. I was, I was crossing my fingers, I wouldn't do anything else. All right, now it's showing repairing, resynchronizing. So I will uh, see it's 7.25 p.m. We'll see how long it takes. I'll speed you through this. This may take a while. I don't know why, but exactly 40 minutes to synchronize 256 gigs of SD cache, two drives. And uh, it looks healthy. It's sitting there just blinking green everything looks happy and um, but uh, I believe that'll work so hopefully that'll help somebody out um, it's the first time I've ever done it uh, up until six months ago I didn't even think to even do SSD caching. Uh, hopefully it's helping. My dog's barking. But anyway, uh, I'm going to end it right there. Hopefully that's enough for somebody. If you got any questions, leave me a question down there in the, in the bottom. Um, I'll leave a link to this drive. I think it was $30 or $32. They're good drives and I'm, you don't have to break the bank to do this kind of stuff. Now, if you're in a professional production environment, you might want to spend a few more dollars, but um, me, eh. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It's just right down there. And I'd appreciate you doing it. I'm at 935, 30, 935 subscribers. <laughs> Uh, on my way to a thousand, uh, hit that bell to be notified and uh, leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if you do SSD caching on your NAS or your server or whatever. So, but um, I think that's about it. So, thanks for watching, and until the next video, have a great day.